What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the McGuire Code. We are firing up the Super NES Classic Edition. This is the first time it has been loaded up. I already went through and uh, set the designated language, so you did miss that, but it, you didn't miss much. Uh, so yeah, we unboxed one of these in our previous video, and now we're just taking a look around to check it out, what it looks like, and uh, so you get a sense of what's going on. So I figured what better way, let's uh, start just run through the games, and we'll go in the alphabetical order here. If you start over on the right, it actually loads you up, starting with Contra 3, The Alien Wars, a fun game. Donkey Kong Country, another great game. Earthbound, a game I highly recommend. Uh, F-Zero, it's only single player, but it's still fun. Final Fantasy 3, I've never played Final Fantasy games, but I'm looking forward to giving this one a shot. Kirby Superstar, 8 games in 1, I don't exactly know what that one is, but you know, you gotta have a Kirby game, so what better way to do that? Oh, well, here's another Kirby game, I've actually played this game, Kirby's Dream Course, fun little golf game. They got a two-player option there. Mega Man X. I'm looking forward to giving that one a shot. One player, of course. Secret of Man is actually two players. I don't know how exactly that works, but never played that game before. Looking forward to giving that one a shot. Star Fox, of course, number one uh, on the list of Super FX games, maybe. Uh, of course, Star Fox 2. This is the nice little uh, treat that they threw into the Super NES Classic Edition for fans of the Star Fox series. We never saw Star Fox 2. This is the first time we've ever actually had a chance to play this game. Uh, of course, you know the history. Uh, Star Fox 2 was canceled for the Super Nintendo because it didn't really hold up very well at the time, uh, especially considering some of the games that were being shown on the PlayStation at the time. So, Nintendo pulled this game from development and actually kind of used this to spearhead what we saw in Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64. It turned out to be an okay decision there, I think, because by all accounts, Star Fox 64 is a universally great game. Uh, I think nobody would argue that. Uh, so, Nintendo had a gold mine with Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, hit it gold once again on the, on the Nintendo 64. So we'll see what Star Fox 2 does. It's probably just a nice novelty item at most, at anything. Of course, you got Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Of course, there were so many different versions of the Street Fighter 2 game at the time on the Super Nintendo and the Genesis. But So I don't know why they specifically chose this one. Maybe it's just the, the best version of the game on the Super Nintendo. I don't know, but we can get that shot. Super Castlevania 4, great game. I haven't played this game in years. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting a chance to go back and play that one. Super Goals and Ghosts, very difficult game. I have not, I don't believe I've ever beaten this game. I didn't have this one much. I didn't know this game or Castlevania, so th those were rental games for me. Super Mario Kart, of course, I did own, and we're going to have a whole ton of fun playing that game. Super Mario RPG, a lot of people love this game. I never never owned this one, never played it, so that's a game, an another game I'm very much looking forward to trying out for the first time on the Super NES Classic Edition. That's what that's what's great about this because there are so many RPG games on this game system that I've never played and now I get a chance to do that. Super Mario World, of course. You got you gotta have Super Mario World. Super Metroid. Never played much in Metroid games. Uh, never owned this game either, so that'll be a first time for me. Uh, so many people love this game though, so gotta have that one. Super Punch Out, again, you know, Punch Out's probably the more widely accepted uh, universally appraised a game in that franchise, but it's a nice little game to have on this system as well, so we'll give that a try. Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Cannot wait to play this game again. It's so much, it's so great. It's still one of my favorite Zelda games of all time. One of my favorite games of all time. So we'll definitely have fun playing that game. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, another great game. Uh, you know, obviously Super Mario World is probably more my favorite game, and this one's only one player, unfortunately, but there's a lot of fun to be had in Yoshi's Island. And that brings us back to the beginning. So, this is obviously, this system is not hacked or anything like that. I'm sure some people are already working hard on this now that they have the system in their hands. And it's only going to be a matter of time. I'm not going to hack mine though, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'm very, very, very happy to have this. So, let's just take a look around here. Uh, if we go up to our menu, we have our different display options. Um, we can play with a CRT filter, which is kind of cool. Or you can just keep it in your regular 4.3. Or you can have Pixel Perfect. Um, I'm not sure which way I want to go. I'll probably just keep it at 4.3 for right now. But of course, you can have different frames. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, I'm not. I'll probably just keep it standard. Although, some of these are pretty neat. <laughs> I like that one right there. Um, so you nice. Alright, so I'm just going to keep it plain. I don't need anything going on there. Let's check out our different options. We got 
gameplay demo. Uh, okay, classic demo. Screen burning reduction. Okay, all nice things to have, I guess. Suppose uh, language, of course. I'm speaking English, so I'll keep it in English. Uh, oh yeah, here are the legal notices. We don't care about that. And uh, manuals. Okay, so what you do if you need the instruction manual, you scan this code right here, and uh, you can bring up the manual for, I guess, the system, right? Or is it actually going to have the manuals for all these games? I'm not entirely sure ha what happens there. Uh, we can sort by two. P oh, okay, so you hit the select button on your controller. By the way, I love the controller. Very, very sturdy feeling. And it feels just like a Super Nintendo controller, which you would expect. But you can hit the select button to sort it. Uh, so I just sorted it by recently played, by times played, by release date, which is actually kind of cool because then you get an idea of your, your launch titles. Uh, so we can go through the whole timeline of the games that are included here. Super Mario World was packed in with the Super Nintendo when it was released, so that makes perfect sense there. F-Zero was also a launch title. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, I don't know if it was officially a launch title, but it was certainly in that launch window. Same with Castlevania 4, uh, Contra 3, Alien Wars, uh, probably came a little bit later too, but that was, that was early on. Legend of Zelda came a little bit later, same with Mario Kart, and then Star Fox, then you got all these games here. Um, Donkey Kong Country was kind of like the revitalization of the Super Nintendo, I feel. You had a couple of Kirby games. Earthbound came that much later, huh? All right. And then Super Mario World 2 was kind of cool. Mario RPG, these Kirby games. And of course, Star Fox 2 has never been released, so that's your most recent one right there. You can sort it by publisher, which is kind of cool, because you can see what how good Capcom and Konami were at the time. Look at these games. Mega Man X, Street Fighter, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Then you move over to Konami, they got Contra and Castlevania. Where's Gradius, man? Gradius 3 was awesome. Uh, of course, you got Nintendo getting into their things here. Uh, a lot of good Nintendo games, obviously. Um, and then you got Squaresoft, which is nice to see. But that's it. Uh, of course, you can sort it by title, which it comes with, and you can sort it by two-player games. So if you have uh, someone you want to play these games with, these are the games you're going to play with. So the two-player games are Contra 3, Donkey Kong Country, Final Fantasy 3, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course, Secret of Mana, Street Fighter 2, Mario Kart, Mario World. And you may notice, uh, you see the, uh, the different two-player shades. You got two-player white and two-player yellow. Two-player white means you're going to be alternating. Two-player yellow is uh, you're playing cooperatively or c against each other, I'm going to guess. Because in Donkey Kong Country, I, didn't, I don't think you play two players at the same time. In Donkey Kong Country, it's only one player at a time, but I guess you can both be on the, the, the screen. I, I'm not, I don't remember how that works. I usually play most of these games single player anyway, back in the day. Alright, so um, tell you what, let's go... Put it in by uh, title again, and let's go and load this thing up. And I think it's only fitting that we test it out for the first time playing Super Mario World. It fires it right up. Oh man, that music. Yes. Yes, let's go. Well, we'll just play one quick level, maybe two. Man, I cannot tell you how excited I was the first time I opened up the Super Nintendo, hooked it up to my TV back in the day. Super Mario World was the only game I had because it came packed with the system, and I imagine the experience was very similar to what many of you guys had as well. Uh, let's go over to Yoshi's Island 1. Oh man, this is so cool. Let's see how well I remember this. The controller feels really good, guys. It's really responsive. I love it. And I think a lot of people, you know, I don't know, maybe opinions have changed over the years, but I feel like the Super Nintendo controller has always been highly regarded as one of the best ones out there. At least, you know, for me, it's always been the best. This is all coming back to me like it's nothing. Oh, this is great. Looks good, feels good. I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, I love sliding down and knocking these guys out. Oh no, okay, so we throw the shell up and there's the one up in there, right? Yes. It's amazing how much I remember some of this stuff. It's, it's, maybe it's pretty sad, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this controller feels really good. I know it's kind of looking like I'm messing this one up. That's because I am. There we go. <laughs> Alright. 
knocking these guys out of the fireballs, get some coins. Got our one up. Oh, charge and chuck. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's pretty cool, guys. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm sure that there's probably a, a button configuration on the controller to maybe go back to a main menu. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if I can figure it out. No. I'll have to look it up, but I'm sure that there's probably some kind of controller configuration. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the reset button on the system. And that brings me back here. So it's going to save my... I can save my suspend point there. And we'll just do that. Alright, so let's uh, let's try out a different game. Um, how about Contra 3 The Alien Wars? Play through the first level here. Get that nice little Konami opening, and maybe I'll play one game from each publisher. AD 2636, so we, we got some time before this actually happens, guys, don't worry. Love that 16-bit uh, drama, right? Oh, they just wiped out the whole city. Big double face. This Now, this game is really hard. Um, I usually play it on the easy setting, probably. And I'll probably do that for this one. <laughs> but I remember this game being pretty fun. It's time for revenge. Let's attack aggressively. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, there we go. Let's check out the options real quick. Konami games were so good back in the day. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Let's see if we can get through the first level, guys. What do you say? So, like I say, this is a... Uh, it's pretty cool seeing some of these games uh, be packaged in together for the first time in... ever. <laughs> oh, jeez, I didn't get any of those. Oh, jeez, that was dumb. This might be a quick, uh... Might be a quick play here. So I guess it's actually good that I didn't get those items because I would have died right away. Oh, I got the homie missiles. Nice. There's just so much that happens in this game. I need that spread, right? Oh, I just died. That's not good. Let's take out these guns right here. All right, move on. Oh, that's right. We hop in the tank. I love how the tank ricochets backwards. We can just run over this thing. Just take that thing out right away. There we go. I missed another weapon though. We're racking up these things, whatever they are, I forget. Get a nice little invincibility shield. Gotta wait for the, those fireballs to die down. All right, we're gonna lose our shield, we lost it. All right. So, Immediately, my immediate reaction is, it's really nice seeing how well these games uh, hold up because the controls are really good. Nice. The the sound quality seems just fine. I mean, this is a faithful uh, port of these games. Get that homie missile. I like that homie missile. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know if I want this one. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now we can climb the wall here. Oh, that's right. We got to hold on. Oh, I just died. I'm down to my last life. Oh, that was close. Might get a game over here, though. Might not even make it to the end. Can I, can I kill these things? Or I just got to time it. 
I love this music, though. Man, that's so good. Oh, there we go. That's the weapon you want. Alright. Flames die down. We can move on. We got our spread. We're in good shape now. Alright, now we got a, a boss here. We're just gonna keep shooting. Gonna keep shooting that. I think we can shoot this little hole up here at the top where the those little flying enemies were flying out. I guess we can just focus on the bottom there, because that that's a weak spot down at the bottom, right? We just destroyed the, uh... Just destroyed that top thing there. I think we're gonna do it. Uh-oh. Come on. Get out of the way! Oh, jeez. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, just shoot straight ahead. I only have one life left. There we go. Alright, so... This is, uh... Pretty neat a little experience, guys. Alright, let's uh, hit that reset button and uh, let's try out a different game real quick. I probably don't need to save all these because I'm probably not going to go back there and play from there. But let's uh, load up Donkey Kong Country. Another great game. Well, again, we'll play, just play through the first level here. To get an idea of just how good the representation of these games is. Now I should note, I'm not playing this on a big screen TV right now, but I will be doing that later. But as far as uh, this uh, monitor that I'm playing on right now, looks good, feels good, sounds good. There we go. So this is the first time that we are introduced to the character of Diddy Kong. And this way you don't need save points because you can actually save in the game. So the save points come in handy in some spots though. And now actually, this game... This game has like a rewind feature or something like that. I'm not sure exactly how that works. So I'll have to figure those things out. But for right now, I'm just trying to play the game and just get a quick sense of how some of these games that I remember playing back in the day feel today. And so far, I'm not disappointed. This thing's great. Now, there's so many hidden bananas in this game. Oh, man. The music in this game is just awesome. Now, maybe there are some people that say that they should have included Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't include some of the games that they didn't include. Like I said before, SimCity is a game that absolutely should have been on this system. But if you get just one Donkey Kong Country game, I can't fault them for going with the original. As much as some people may love Donkey Kong Country 2, I never really played it much, so I don't really have the same affinity for it. To me, this one's just fine. Alright guys, that, that looked good and felt good. Let's try a different game real quick. Uh, I'm not going to load up any of the RPG games because they could take a little while to get involved in. Uh, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, uh, but how about F-Zero? Let's try F-Zero real quick. And this will probably be the last one we do for this video. Alright, Grand Prix or practice? Let's just do a practice. Always got to go with the Fire Stingray. 
Guys, a little... Actually, we can race against somebody. Let's race against Captain Falcon. So, back in the early 90s, um, Nintendo was touring around doing some kind of uh, push for the Super Nintendo. It was very early on. I don't remember exactly what it's called, like Power Tour or something like that. But they had um, set up shop in the King of Prussia Mall. And they had a whole bunch of games that you could play, and F-Zero was one of them. And I remember specifically having already played F Zero and been pretty good at it. I, I I just went there and I watched some of the other people play this game, and nobody wanted to play with this car right here, the the Fire Stingray, because it was pink. It was a girly color. You couldn't play with this one. There's no way. It's gonna be too slow. So I watched all these guys. They're playing as Captain Falcon in the blue car, or um, whoever drives the yellow car. They thought that they were really good at the game. And then I stepped up, and then I chose the Fire Stingray, and you won't—you wouldn't know it by how I'm playing right now. But I kicked all their butts, and they were in so much uh, all of what I was doing with the pink car that they decided, oh man, maybe that car is good. And the thing with this car is, it's the fastest car in the game if you get it up to speed, and you know, just. It's all about how you make those turns, and you got to master the turns and everything. And of course, it's been so long since I played, so I'm a little rusty, of course. <laughs> Uh, and also I'm distracted because I'm trying to talk to you guys too, but this is a uh, This is not going well actually <laughs> But I this was a fun game too. I wish I wish f-zero was multiplayer But I think at the time that this game was released maybe it was a little t too demanding to make a two-player game So they Nintendo got it right with Super Mario Kart though. We'll give them that and That one came after f-zero f-zero was one of the early launch titles, so it was a nice demonstration for what you can do with a racing game on the Super Nintendo, for sure. And then, of course, they just went a different way of Super Mario Kart, a little bit slower pace, maybe, but... Ah. But this is a nice little, uh... game to showcase the Mode 7 and the ability to rotate the scenery around and everything like that. Where is he? He's way ahead of me. I got two laps to catch him, though. Now we're getting warmed up. All right, I can I can do this. I can do this. Just gotta make these turns nice. There we go. That was nice. That was nicer, I should say. There you go. Oh, not right there. Oh, I got away with that one. I almost messed that up. Ah, I got through the rough patch. He's in my sights, though. I might get him. I might get him. Just need a just need a red shell, right? <laughs> yeah, none none of those in this game. You know, this will get, this will be a fun game to go back and play through. I remember it was a challenge to get everything uh, with a first place. Ah, I just messed up at the end. That's all right. Some of these courses are challenging, but it's all good. All right, that, that didn't exactly go the way I wanted it, but that's all right. All right, guys, so got a nice little introduction to the Super NES Classic, so you can see what's happening here. We're going to head back out to the main menu, and uh, yeah, I look forward to playing some of these games. Again, we obviously, there's so many more games we haven't touched yet, uh, so looking forward to playing through some of these games, and maybe we'll share some of the gameplay videos with you guys here on the channel. All right, guys, let me know which game you're most interested in on the, uh, the Super NES Classic. What game would you like me to play through? Uh, maybe we can throw that out there. If you, there's a game you really want to see me play through, I know games I know for sure that I'm going to play through are Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart F Zero, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island. Uh, those are the games that are going to be definite. Donkey Kong Country will definitely do that. I don't know how we'll attack the RPG games, but there are some games here that we'll definitely be playing through uh, in the future videos as we move forward here. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the McGuire Code. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the classic Super NES if you have one. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.